Thank you so much for your passion and for your clear awareness of how how this all works in the human experience. Thank you, Carol, for the um, the visualization of the flow. You use the word unplug. I think my experience has mostly been uncap. To take off what I'm blocking as opposed to worrying about the plug up here. I, I do see the significance of the, the pyramid as being a representation of something that belongs on this earth in its perfect form. It's radiant, glorious connection to heaven. I appreciate that you might not see it that way. And you could say, how do you know? And I can tell you, I know it in my understanding of the mystery. So I also then know as it represents something that is designed to be whole and radiant and connecting, it also represents how humanity has not been functioning in that wholeness. The humanity now reflects how the pyramid is now, which is been stolen from, broken down, and has lost its connection. I also know my responsibility in its restoration. The restoration of that in the human experience and in the experience of all of humanity. I think every time we touch mystery, touch magic, we touch the all that's right up here. It's all amazing. Like today, I had the sprinklers going early earlier, and watching the birds flying in and out of the spray of the of the sprinkler, it takes my breath away. And that might sound like what a silly little thing, but it's this. I am inspired by the fact that there, there's such beauty in my life and this beautiful presence touches my heart and allows me to know there is this glory constantly coming if but my eyes would see, if I would take off the cap and allow the um, consistency of flow to, to move the things out of the way that block my sight, to move the things that have stopped the radiance of a human being on earth. We are designed to be radiant, glorious, luscious beings. I'm interested in that. I am not only interested in it, I am about the project. I am about making the restoration of that in my own life so that there is a radiance to other people that I don't have to explain that they can see and touch and know that that just like I get excited about the birds in the sprinkler, they could get excited about seeing something in me that reminds them of their connection to the mystery of what is above. It has been blocked by many people by their understanding or their imposition of the word God. The word God has become an imposition in people's understanding in many circumstances. And I know uh, I have and many people have used other words just to, to rattle the understanding and knowing of this connection to that which is above so that we might stop limiting the potential of a human life. 